Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So today's video, I'm super excited to do. This is one of my favorite videos of all time to film on my channel. I have filmed this video multiple times in a row, um, or multiple years in a row, I should say. And this is my fall palette video. I'm very excited to share these wonderful palettes with you all. I did try to look back at some previous videos of mine. Um, and so hopefully I'm not going to be repeating myself too much, but let's just go ahead and get into it. I have some high end. I also have some indie palettes and then I do have some drugstore. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, I did want to say that everything will be linked down below. All of the products mentioned will be linked down below. The links that have an asterisk next to them are affiliated links. If you choose to go through those or shop through those affiliated links, I will receive a small commission. And if you choose to do that, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. No obligations though, if you choose not to, um, no problem, but everything will be linked down below. And if I can fit everything, I will try to link everything that is on my face that I'm wearing today down below as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So in no particular order, um, I did want to start off with some indie palettes. I love indie palettes so much. I feel like this past year, I've really, really gotten into indie palettes and they've almost become my favorite type of formula, my favorite type of eyeshadow palettes to purchase. And Unearthly, the Fall Magic Palette is definitely one to pull out during the fall season. So here is what this one looks like. I mean, the name itself is called Fall Magic. So I feel like you have to use this right during the fall season. And I also feel like the color story really does scream fall as well. So I feel like with the greens in here, these more like mauvey purple tones, even the pinks are totally fine to wear during the fall season. And the formula from Unearthly is just amazing. So did want to give this one a quick shout out. Also from Unearthly, I did want to mention the Sorceress Smoke Palette. So I do feel like this one is their most neutral palette aside from the Full Magic Palette. And I do feel like this one is a really great fall palette. It also kind of gives me a little bit of Halloween vibes because you have the greens in here. You also do have like the um, gunmetal shade, a black. You can get neutral looks from this as well. So this one, again, is a great, great formula when it comes from Unearthly. The, sh uh, the shimmer shades are so beautiful. I love the matte shades as well. Unearthly has probably by far one of my favorite favorite eyeshadow formulas out there. So definitely wanted to give this one a shout out also. All right. And then one palette that did come out this year, and I highly, highly anticipate these palettes coming out every single year. They are the Too Faced palettes. Every year Too Faced comes out with a fall themed eyeshadow palette and I'm here for it almost every year. I love when Too Faced does this. I love a good theme and this year they did come out with the Appley and Love palette and the packaging is just so, so stinking cute. I also really love that it's in the tin pan packaging. And then here is what the palette looks like. I am a clown and I have not been able to use this one yet, but it is definitely on my list to use because I am dying to test this out. I have heard really, really great things about this palette. Um, I know my friend Anna here on YouTube really, really likes this one. So this is definitely going to be a must pull out for me. Um, so I will definitely just keep this nice and handy on my makeup desk this season. All right, our first drugstore palette. This one definitely comes to mind when I think of summer transitioning into fall. I feel like that's kind of the season that we're in right now. This is the ColourPop Smokin', po smokin oh my gosh, ColourPop Smokin' Hot Palette. This is one of their mega palettes and the mega palettes from ColourPop are some of my favorites. I just feel like they are such a great quality from ColourPop. They're the quality that we know and that we love from them. And I also feel like they do such an amazing job with the color story. I feel like this, even though it's a mega palette, I don't look at this and feel overwhelmed. I don't look at this and think that there are so many repeats 
repeated shades. I feel like they do a really great job at including different types of um, matte shades and shimmer shades in here. So this one is definitely, I think, perfect. You can maybe even wear this to a pumpkin patch because again, it's these really nice, just very, very warm tones. So I did wanna mention this one because I really, really love the Mega Palette from ColourPop. One palette that definitely does not get enough love from me, unfortunately, is this one from Viseart. This is the Viseart Cashmere palette. And this one is also giving kind of winter vibes as well. But for some reason, when I look at this palette, it just gives November to me. I feel like this is kind of fall transitioning into winter and I do want to make it a point to use this palette this season because again it's giving those like Thanksgiving vibes. Normally for Thanksgiving I go for something that's a little bit more warm toned kind of similar to the Colourpop palette I just talked about but this one is also kind of giving that holiday vibe so I did want to make sure that I give some use to this palette. Um, I will say unfortunately this is not my favorite palette and the reason for that is I just feel like the matte shades run pretty deep within this palette and it kind of limits me a little bit. But I will say everything else besides that, this palette does perform really, really well. I just am not sure if it like deserves that price tag, if you will, but I definitely wanna make sure that I use this, especially since I already own it. All right, then we have this palette from Lunar Beauty, and Lunar Beauty collaborated with Laura Lee Los Angeles, and they came out with the full fantasy palette. And I really, really enjoy the Lunar Beauty eyeshadow formula, and whenever I saw that they were going to be collaborating, I definitely wanted to pick up this palette. I really, really enjoy the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism palette, so I wanted to just kind of get this one and add it to my collection. And I seriously feel like this is such a beautiful fall palette. You have the like kind of like antique gold types of colors in here. You have some greens. You have the more like burgundy shades here. I just feel like this one really does have such a beautiful autumnal color story. And I also feel like this one is just, again, great to pull out during the fall season. But it also does have some really nice neutrals in here as well. So definitely wanted to mention this one in today's video. One palette that's pretty new to me and new to my collection is from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is actually a new to me brand. This is the first time that I've ever tried anything from them. And I did decide to go ahead and pick up their Longing Eyeshadow Palette. I, at first, was just, I feel like this palette just kind of slipped under the radar for me. But then I started seeing people create looks with it and this is such a stunning color story. I could not get over just how beautiful these shades are. I love how soft and how muted they are, but they still have some really great depth within them. I love that you have these moody purples and moody teals and moody greens, but yet it still has some neutra neutrality within the palette. It's just beautiful, and I cannot wait to use this duochrome on the lids. I think it'll be absolutely stunning. I feel like this palette is giving like rainy fall day vibes, if you will. I feel like this is a really good one. Again, kind of like what I was saying with the Vizier palette, a fall transitioning into winter type of palette. So I did wanna go ahead and mention this one. And I've really, really been enjoying the matte formula from Blend Bunny. I feel like they have a really, really good matte eyeshadow. Sorry if the lighting looks a little bit different. I'm filming at night and um, the lamp is set on like a timer and it just went off. So hopefully it's not like too distracting or hopefully it didn't adjust the lighting too much on this side. But anyways, I also wanted to mention two palettes from Cosmic Brushes or Cosmic Beauty. I'm not sure if they changed their name or not. I'm honestly a little bit confused, but either way, I really, really enjoy their palettes. I have two of them. So this is the Nude Trolls palette. So this is the newest palette that um, I have brought into my collection from Cosmic Brushes. And here's what this one looks like. While this is just a neutral palette, which means you can totally wear it all year long, doesn't matter the season, I just feel like this one is giving falls, especially with these mustard tones. I just, this screams fall to me. 
And yes, I will probably still use this any time of year, but for some reason, it's definitely giving fall vibes still. I really, really love the shimmer shades from Cosmic Brushes. The mattes are a little bit tricky sometimes, but for the most part, I'm super impressed with this formula. Um, so I do totally recommend this palette. And if you picked it up, it's a fairly-ish recent launch, definitely pull it out for fall. I think it'll make some beautiful looks. Also from Cosmic Brushes, I wanted to mention the Muse palette. And the Muse palette is so stunning. This is probably the one that I prefer over the neutrals. I just really, really love this one. This was my first palette that I picked up from Cosmic Brushes. And I just really enjoy this color story. I think it's very unique. I absolutely love the jewel tones in this palette. I feel like jewel tones are another route that you can take during the fall season. You don't have to stick to warm tones. You don't have to stick to um, greens or anything like that. Jewel tones are another just really great way to wear color during the fall season. And again, transitioning from fall into winter is another great time that you can contribute or, um, what is it? You can wear some jewel tones. <laughs> I was trying to think of the the word, but I can't think of it right now. Okay, then another palette. I apologize that these are so many indie palettes. I have just really, really gotten into indie makeup. I feel like they're the palettes that are kind of exciting me right now at this time, and so that's why I have so many to recommend. So I hope you don't mind. I wanna say a lot of you guys, at least who I interact with in the comments, also really, really like, um, what's it called, indie, so hopefully y'all don't mind, but this is yet another indie palette, so again, I'm really sorry, but this is the Fantasy Cosmetica Druid palette, and this is a beautiful green color story palette. I actually thought that I talked about this one last year, but I definitely didn't, um, and I feel like this is such a perfect fall palette. Um, Fantasy Cosmetica's shimmers are so stunning. Like they are so beautiful and I cannot wait to have this all over my eyes once again. It's been a hot minute since I've used it, but from what I remember, this is a beautifully performing palette. Um, again, especially the shimmer shades. And I feel like a beautiful, just kind of like olivey green toned look or a foresty green toned eyeshadow look is so stunning and beautiful during the fall season. So definitely wanted to give this one a shout out as well. All right, another indie palette. This is my final indie palette that I'll be talking about. Adept Cosmetics. This is their Flying Fiddles eyeshadow palette. I have fallen in love with Adept Cosmetics this year. I have been really, really intrigued by their color stories, by their latest palettes. I was definitely tempted by their latest Unity palette. I decided to skip over it, but the Flying Fiddles palette, this is screaming fall to me. This is screaming all of the fall vibes in my opinion. I love that they have the burgundy and teal shade to deepen up the look. It's a little bit more variety. It kind of gives this a little bit of a different look because of the fact that they went with color to deepen the looks rather than just using like a traditional brown or uh, black, things like that. So definitely wanted to mention this one today because while again, this is neutral, I do feel like this is giving fall because of the greens, because of the burgundies, the mauvey tones, the teals, things like that. So really love Adept Cosmetics and their formula. And this is definitely by far such a stunning, stunning neutral fall palette. Okay. I also am not sure if I mentioned this one. I definitely didn't mention this one last year, maybe the year before. And if I have mentioned it before for a fall palette video, I apologize. But yet, this is just another reminder to pull it out. And it's the ABH Nouveau palette. This is beautiful. Such a great formula from ABH and such a beautiful color story from them as well. Honestly, if you just block this lilac shade, this is the most beautiful fall palette. I love the greens in here. I also really love this terracotta color. I also love that they have a like blue brown kind of shifty shade in here as well. Such a beautiful formula from ABH. I love the shimmers in here. And again, this is just such a perfect color story for right now. So wanted to mention this 
this one. And again, if I've mentioned it before, so sorry, but yet another reminder to pull this one out. All right, the last two palettes that I want to mention in today's video that I want to showcase, these two palettes are from the drugstore. I'm so sorry that I didn't have a lot of drugstore. I feel like I didn't want to repeat myself too, too much. So um, I wanted to be mindful of what I was going to be mentioning in today's video, but also because I really have just been gravitating towards indie palettes. But this is one that I picked up later in the year last year, and this is from Juvia's Place. This is the Chocolates palette, and I did do a collab video last year, and so this was one of the palettes that was um, like part of that collab video. But anyways, this one is really beautiful. I definitely need to make it a point to use this palette because you have these really beautiful, rich, chocolatey tones. And again, I feel like no better time than the fall season to wear colors like this. And I was really, really impressed and pleased with this palette the first time I tried it out. And then lastly, the final palette, and again, it is another drugstore palette, is the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Sabrina, this is literally just a neutral palette that doesn't make it a, a full palette, but for some reason, I just feel like this is a full palette because you have these like terracottas in here and I feel like that makes it a little bit more fall leaning. Of course, this is just a neutral palette. So you can wear this during any time of the year, but for some reason, I feel like these tones really do play with the transition of the season, with the falls changing or with the leaves changing color and the, the leaves falling and all of that. So I did wanna mention this one I've been very impressed with the formula of this one so I thought it would be a really just great drugstore palette to plug in for today's video but that is going to wrap it up for this this year's fall palette video I cannot believe that the fall season is here we had the most beautiful day outside today so I am getting very very excited for the weather to finally hopefully cool down we are very excited for that here in South Texas but I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Again, all of the products mentioned will be linked down below, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel family here. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.